Welcome everybody to this video. My name is Max from Laser Beast Lab. So in this video, I wanna show you a couple alternative materials you can use instead of using Baltic birch or uh, wood that can sometimes be hard to acquire. Um, wood, especially like this birch, is affected a lot by political or economical things going on in our country and sometimes that price fluctuates. So it's nice to have some other alternatives in your back pocket for you and for your customers. So I'm gonna go through a list of items and show you what else there is. So the first alternative I wanna show you was MDF. MDF is basically medium density fiber. And what it is is a bunch of particles from hardened softwoods compressed down with glue into a board. One thing to note about MDF is it's not quite as strong or rigid as regular plywood. Um, so be careful when substituting. For a project like this that I'm showing you right now, the customer wanted quarter inch uh, spacer in between these two pieces. And instead of using an expensive quarter inch Baltic birch, we went ahead and went with the quarter inch MBF material and it saved enough money to convince her to actually go through with the job. So because it's just the center slot piece, uh, the MDF was a, a great substitute to put instead of quarter inch Baltic birch and saved money. Didn't affect the quality of this piece and the customer was really happy with the price. Now, another MDF material is whiteboard. Whiteboard is basically just MDF with a coating on top that makes it usable with like dry erase markers. What I really like about whiteboard material is it has this high gloss finish on one side. The back side normally is coated in some sort of matte paint. You'll see it's a little dusty because I cut it down. Um, but what's really good about this MDF material is because of that bright whiteness, when you actually engrave it down to the MDF, it makes for a nice uh, crisp, and clean engraving, nice contrast. The downside is when you're engraving it, a lot of the times you'll see right here, um, you'll get some smoke buildup and it does get dirty fast, but just a quick wipe and it'll come right off. When cutting and engraving it, uh, afterwards when you go to wipe it off, use something that's not too wet. Um, MDF is particle board basically, and so when you get it wet inside there, the wood wants to expand. So at most use a very light damp cloth or a sponge, but it's really easy. You just wipe it right off and that smoke and sediment comes off very easy, just like dry erase does on a whiteboard. Um, and then when you're done, you get left with this nice crisp and clean, good contrast engraving. Another option I like to use a lot too is wood veneer. Uh, wood veneer is a great way to make something look kind of more exotic or a different finish without spending uh, on a big slab of wood. So. A lot of the times you can get wood veneer in a various amount of options and it comes in a peel and stick backing too. So you can actually take this MDF after engraving or even before and stick it to something like MDF that's a little bit cheaper and turn it into something that looks really, really nice. Next up on the list is going to be acrylic. Now acrylic isn't an exact substitute for wood given that it's kind of a little bit more of a pricier option, but it does have its benefits. Acrylic is available in something like acrylic mirror. You can get it in clear, fluorescent, translucent. Uh, there's a wide array of options basically. And what I like to use it for in substitution to some woods uh, is ways to accent the wood and make it look a little nicer. So you'll see right here, I'm using a combination of clear acrylic with acrylic mirror. The clear acrylic is great because I was able to spray paint the back one color and the front a different color. And sometimes it just adds an effect that wood can't. So it makes for a great substitution for wood in places that you wanna make pop and shine. Another alternative we have here is going to be bamboo. Now bamboo is one of the fastest growing resources and renewable resources that we have on the planet. So it makes for a very consistent pricing wherever you get it from. You can find an array of different products that are made in bamboo as easily as you can with wood. Uh, one thing to note about engraving bamboo is sometimes it engraves a little bit differently per piece. Bamboo has just a natural grain, just like any other wood, but it's more prominent in the engraving when that grain is different. So always make sure you have some test pieces and run some tests before uh, you do a final piece. So the last recommendations I have for substitutes on wood uh, is gonna be materials like cardboard, cardstock, and chipboard. Uh, basically, uh, these are kind of throwaway materials, but they make good substitutes. Uh, let's say when you're doing a prototype or even stencils, it's a good way to kind of test out your plans and make sure things are gonna work logistically before you actually finalize that design uh, and move on to wood. So it's a great way to um, get your design out there without spending a lot of money on the prototypes. Well, that wraps up our video on substitutes and alternatives to wood. Now, these do vary depending on the job, but hopefully some of these come in handy on your next project. 
If there are a couple I forgot to mention in this video, feel free to let us know down below in the comments. You can also place any questions or concerns down there too, and we'll do our best to get back to you. If you did find this video useful, please uh, let us know by getting that like button and also subscribing to see more of our videos in the future.